Hulk Hogan! When you're doing the Macho Man Randy Savage, you gotta get the pinky going and you gotta get the lips going, that's right. Hey gang, Jeff Stone here with the second official review of the year 2018. We're taking a look at Kayfabe by the fabulous, the fabulous Max Maven. This is a four disc set. The discs are not in here at the moment. Uh, but, so once you take this white sleeve off, you have another sleeve uh, you got to take off. And uh, to quote Mitch Hedberg, you open it up and it still ain't open. And inside you get four discs, which again, the discs are not in there at the moment. But then you get to close everything up. And you'll notice also on here it tells you the contents of each disc. So, uh, as we do in our reviews, um, there's no we, folks. It's just me. As I do in my reviews, effect, method, ad copy integrity, product quality. Effect. There are 14 effects. And I can just read the names to you, which would be meaningless. Or you could go over to the ad copy section of the review and make sure you just read the ad copy. And it explains most of the effects on there. Um, I will say this. The effects are, there's quite a few that use cards for, pro for props. In fact, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of one that doesn't use cards. But I know there's got to be one or two. Yeah, I, in fact, I know there is. There's a confabulation routine on there, which is really um, a clever addition to that concept. And there's a couple other on there. Uh, but it's all mentalism for the most part, like 99.9% .9 mentalism. And so, and it's Max Maven. My gut tells me if you're a Max Maven fan, you're going to like this DVD set. Okay. Uh, my favorite part personally was, um, wasn't even the effects necessarily. It was the methods, number one. And number two, it was the interview segments with Luis DeMontos. Uh, those are always my favorite part of these videos just about every time because you really get to, like inside the head. Like he's really, Luis DeMontos is really good at getting these guys to open up and share their childhood and tell you, tell them, so, tell stuff about their past. And there are things about, I mean, I've studied a lot of Max Maven's work. Um, I've got not all of his books. I don't think that, I don't think anybody owns all of his books. Nope, not even he does. I don't even think he knows which books he has at this point. There's so many of them. Um, but I own a lot of them. And I own, I think I do own all of his videos because he doesn't, hasn't made that many. Um, but I, I'm, you know, I'm a fan. I like his stuff. I've read um, the color books, all five of them, multiple times. Um, I've read um, his, um, uh, the palindrome, what's, what's it called? Redivider. I've read that one probably 10 times, literally 10 times. Uh, I've studied a lot of his stuff and I, and I, you know, I'm interested in him as a person, as a thinker, as a magician, as a mentalist, as a mind reader, as a writer, just all these different things. And I know a fair amount about him, uh, but there were so many things in these interviews that I had no clue about. And some of them are like, he used to be a jazz singer. How about that one? But that was pretty cool. Um, so uh, anyway, it's fun. It's fun to watch those interviews unfold and to learn about these guys. Uh, so let's talk. So that, that's the effect, if you will. There's 14 effects. Um, and then you get, um, these interviews. Uh, one other thing I will say about these effects, they are, um, they're the kind of things that there's one that I'm probably going to add to my repertoire and it's called, uh, I don't know how you'd pronounce it. Rerum. It's the word, a uh, ro Rorim, I should say. It's the word mirror spelled backwards. Um, that is probably going into my repertoire. Um, I don't perform much th these days anymore. But that is an effect that I really want to do. I really like that a lot. Uh, but you may not. You know, that's just everybody has different viewpoints and perspectives on stuff like that. Um, what you appeals to me may not appeal to you. But I will say that um, just off the top of my head, uh, all the effects that I can think of, they just feel impossible. That's the beauty of them. They're just the methods are so clever that he just layers things. And so we'll sort of bleed into method now. He just layers things so that the, the deception and the impossibility is just, it's just incredible. Uh, so what kind of methods are there? There's only one or two that require like a little bit of mental gymnastics. Most of the stuff is either like sort of self-working um, or um, just really not hard. Um, but not all of it's like super easy. Some of it's a little trickier and all of it requires presentation skills. That's the thing. So you can't go into this, even his self-working stuff and think, oh, 
I'll just go follow the procedure. No, 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 no. That's bad. You need to actually take the time to put in some presentation skills, use his clever methods, and make the effects your own with your own presentation style. But the, the methods themselves, for the most part, are pretty standard, pretty easy. There's no crazy like props you have to buy or build or anything weird like that. Um, the craziest thing on there is a, a deck of cards. You'd have to make a special deck of cards, which is not crazy at all. There's no like gluing or anything like that. It's nothing that weird. Um, it's just assembling, basically. Uh, so but that's it. It's, and it, the only other prop that, that's coming to mind off the top of my head is you'll one of the effects, the one that I want to put into my repertoire, in fact, requires two jumbo playing cards. Um, but, you know, there's things like his confabulation routine, obviously, requires like pen and paper and stuff like that. Um, but overall, there's not really anything weird or extra bizarre that you have to get your hands on that I can think of. Uh, so I, I'll just stop there with effect and method. I will, I'll just say that um, methods are doable. There's only one that's going to be hard, but it's still doable. You just have to practice, as you should with all methods. Okay, so effect, method, I think we're good. Let's talk um, ad copy integrity because it's going to be super brief. They nailed it, right? It's 100%. They just describe the effects. They don't make any outrageous claims. And I found with the Luis D'Amato series, these essential magic collections, they're always just dead on with their ad copy. They're very clear and accurate and not hyperbolic at all. And they just explain the effects. So there's not much to it there. Uh, so let's talk product quality. This is the only place where there's a little bit of negativity, but it's not much. This is a very common problem with these Essential Magic collections, and it's the DVD menu. There, it's just always a pain in the butt. It's, it's like nine clicks to get to watch a single video. I'm exaggerating, but it's too many clicks. Um, and by the way, if you click on a button, uh, if this is assuming you're watching it on a computer, if you click on a menu button, it doesn't do anything. It just highlights it. Then you have to click it again uh, to actually go through. And I can't tell you how many times I click on it waiting for the thing to play, and then I realize, oh crap, I just highlighted it. I have to click it again. That's just frustrating and annoying. I don't know how it plays out if you're using like a, a DVD with a regular remote instead of a mouse. So it may not be an issue with that. I guess I could have tested that, but then I'd have to go upstairs and dust off my DVD player and blah, 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 blah. Sorry about that. I had to cut the camera. My head exploded, went into a loop, and whew, that was a nightmare. Anyway, I'm back. We were talking about the menu, and I think I've given you enough on that. The only other thing I will tell you, on one of the discs, I think disc number three, I have listed it in the actual ad co or the actual written review. Uh, it, when I tried to do English subtitles, it gave me Japanese subtitles. So I don't know what's going on there. By the way, you get uh, Japanese, English, Spanish, and Portuguese, I think. Um, he speaks in English, but you get, you can have the option of all four of those subtitles. And so that's good. It's, a, you know, got a multi, um, language, um, experience. So if you don't speak English as your native language, maybe one of the other ones will be helpful. Uh, so that's really the only thing. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. Uh, oh yeah, there was a problem with the audio quite a few times where the audio would cut in and out or fade up and down. or It was weird. Um, it was, it wasn't like so bad that you couldn't watch it, but it did happen a few times, but that's about it. Uh, so the only real other thing as far as product quality goes is the teaching quality and it's Max Maven, right? I mean, the guy's really good at explaining stuff, teaching stuff, and you get a really good history of these effects. And there's some stuff in here, some methods and techniques, a lot of which he invented, um, a lot of which is just old or combinations of old ideas, but he gives you the history and the inspiration for all of that stuff. If nothing else, this DVD set is an excellent resource, um, like a reference material for all this stuff. If you're ever gonna publish something that uses some of these older methods, you've got now the history of where they came from, and I have no clue how he finds this stuff, but he does. He's got stuff that dated back to like the 1500s, um, some moves and stuff that we kind of just take for granted that everybody knows that he's got the history on it. So there's tons of really good information on there. Um, the only thing I was, uh, this is, you know, I try not to rate products based on my expectation versus what I actually get. Um, I did, but I will mention this because it did, uh, happen. And that is, I, I just felt like there, there wasn't enough. 
and I know it's nine hours, right? But it just seemed like you only got a, like four tricks per DVD. And I just thought, man, I would have liked to see more. Now, everything with, uh, with uh, I think maybe one exception, is stuff that he's never published before. So it's all new stuff. Um, and there's still plenty of stuff he keeps to himself, obviously. But that was a little bit of a disappointment. It won't affect the star rating because um, the star rating is not about what I wish for. It's about what they claim and what you actually get. Um, the only other thing that was a little bit of a bummer is there's a really cool documentary by Donna Zuckerbrot called Max Maven, A Fabulous Monster. I own it. I've seen it. I paid the 20 bucks. I actually bought it with my own money, $20, and it's awesome. That's included as one of the discs. As one of the four discs has that on it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me look. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing on that disc. There are no tricks on that disc. Um, it still has the interviews and stuff and has some cool stories. But then it has a documentary. And so, um, you know, if you already own that documentary, which, again, it's awesome. But it might be a little bit of a bummer that you, you got some repeat content there. Uh, and, again, that, it would have been nice if that stuff that was replaced with some more effects. Um, but that aside, I mean, that, again, that's just my wishful thinking there. Uh, overall, solid, solid, solid product. It's $150. Um, so divide that up. That's like about 30 something bucks a DVD, which is pretty standard pricing. Um, so I'll let you decide if it's worth it. Um, I like the interview sections in there. I like the methods and the techniques and the history and all that stuff. So to me, it's awesome. I, I really enjoyed it, but to each his own. I've given you all the information you need along with the written review to make your own decision. So it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, for you to subscribe to this channel, ring that bell, like it, share it out to everybody on your social media networks, and listen to the random Spotify song of the moment, which is, oh, I don't know, how about... Yes, Apocalyptica. Yeah. Let's scoot ahead to some of the music. These guys are fabulous. There we go. This one is called Creation of Notes. Uh, I don't know if you're an Apocalyptica fan, but you may remember um, they've done a lot of tribute albums. They did one, uh, Apocalyptica plays Metallica by Four Cellos, I believe is what they called it. And it's freaking awesome. This is not, I don't think this is a cover. I don't recognize the name Co Creation of Notes, but that may be a cover of some other band. Either way, freaking awesome. I'll put a link to that in the description below. That's it for this one, folks. Stay tuned, uh, or tune in next time, I should say. And who knows when that'll be, but whenever that is, it's going to be Magic Cube Cub. Uh, it's a self-solving Rubik's Cube effect that we'll be reviewing. And it's by Federico Poimiro or something like that. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.